Hey guys, it's Rose. Today I'm going to do a little tag video. This is actually going to be my first tag video, which is kind of awesome. And it is courtesy of my friend Oak Trina. I will put a link to her video down below. And this tag is the comic book tag. And I'm really excited about it because obviously I love comic books. I think that they are very underrepresented in the booktube world. And I am really excited to do a tag video and talk about some of my favorites. I also wanted to say that if you want to do this, I'm kind of bad with tagging, so if I don't specifically tag you in this, please do it anyway. And then post your video in the comments and let me see what your favorite comics are as well. Question number one. What was the first comic book you ever read? This is a kind of impossible question for me because I started reading comic books when I was about six or seven years old, and which, by the way, is also the same year that I started reading Lord of the Rings, so apparently that was just like the year that I nerded out everywhere. And the way that I started reading was that I didn't actually go to a comic book store and pick one out and would really remember it. I was living in Africa in a very small expat community, and I didn't have a whole lot to do except for hang out with the other kids, and they read some comic books, and so I started picking them up and flicking through them as well. And so I was an incredibly sporadic kind of piecemeal reader. It was like, oh, a comic book on the floor. I will read it. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Um, that was actually how I started reading, and I can't remember what the first book I read was. The first series or team that I got really into was the X-Men. This was in the 90s. This is in the early 90s. It was around about the time that the animated series appeared, so obviously that helped me fall in love with it a lot. But it was definitely the first ones that stuck in my mind. I cannot for the life of me remember what the storyline was. Question number two. What was the comic that you read last? I'm actually going to go two comics on this one, both of which are trades. The first of those is one that just came out finally in trade last month, and that is Death of Wolverine. I actually picked it up for the man Creature because he absolutely loves Wolverine. It's his favorite character. And obviously read it myself because this is why we, we date people that have the same interests so that we can buy stuff for them. And I did really love it. It's anyone's going to tell you it's phenomenal. I don't know anyone who didn't love it. I do wish that I was a little more up to date on kind of some of the storylines immediately prior to this particular run. But it's Wolverine. It's all emotional. He dies and shit. The other one that I most recently read was I actually picked up three of the Marvel Masterworks Daredevil trades on a very good special at my local comic book store, because as you probably know, Daredevil is coming to Netflix as a TV series along with Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage, and I've sort of dabbled in and out of Daredevil, but he's not a character that I know amazingly well, so when I saw it, I thought it would be really fun to go back to the beginning. And I'm still working through those now, but it's kind of cool to do that sometimes. Question three. Who is your favorite comic book character? Seriously, it's Rogue. It has to be Rogue if I wore my Rogue streak. 24-7 and dyed it into my hair and did not say rogue, the internet would laugh at me and not believe me and that would suck. It's rogue. Question four. What is your favorite comic event? I have to say that I'm kind of a muppet with this question. When I first saw the tag, uh, Katrina posted it on Facebook and I actually saw the questions before I watched the video. And I read this as event, comic book event, as in a happening within the comic universe. And, <laughs> and for that, I'm still going to answer that question because it means I get to talk about Civil War. I love Civil War. I think it's absolutely epic and it's, come on, it's every fan's 
had that moment or those arguments where they say who would beat who in a fight and that kind of answers it. You kind of get to see them all trying to kick the shit out of each other and it's awesome. Now what the question is actually supposed to be, if you are, if you are not me and you do not have my, apparently I've bleached out the part of my brain that understood that question, is meant to be like events in the real world and Katrina mentioned free comic book day. So I felt stupid. Then I did think about how awesome Free Comic Book Day is, and that was fun. So answering the question that way, I'm actually going to go with comic book conventions. And the most popular, the biggest one around me locally right now is Fan Expo Canada, uh, which is coming up again quite soon. And I love it for a few different reasons. I love the conventions, um, partially because it's a great way to see the community actually physically in one place, which is always fun. There's a really great sense of community. I love cosplayers. I do a little bit of cosplay myself, but I love to go and get inspired by those people that are way more talented than I am in that arena. And obviously I like shopping. Shopping is fun. There is a lot of cool stuff there that you can get without having to pay shipping and handling fees. And most of all, it's that you actually get a chance to meet some of your heroes, um, to see some panels and talk about some really phenomenally interesting topics in comic books and comic book fandom, and you get to be around people and have these amazing discussions and listen to these amazing discussions, and that's really, really phenomenal. Question number five, favorite comic book writer? I have to answer this one with a little bit of a caveat in that I am not always the best at noticing and remembering the writers and authors of comic books. It's really bad. I should be a lot better. Just wanted to put that out there before I answered. The name that really came to mind first though for me was Mark Miller. He was involved in the Civil War that I just held up. He also was involved with Hit Girl and Kick-Ass, which are amazing comic books. I love them. He also wrote uh, Kingsman The Secret Service, which is like my new favorite comic book, and I would lift it up and show it to you right now, except I actually just lent it out to someone because it's so good. Question six. What is your favorite comic book-based movie? This one is so difficult. There are so many, and right now Marvel is just doing incredible things with the cinematic universe. DC is building up to do stuff that I know is going to be awesome. And that makes it really hard to decide. Of the new Marvel movies, uh, I'm kind of going to take the same cop out that Katrina did and go for Guardians of the Galaxy because for me it was a really, really perfect blend of the, the visual effects and the fantasy world and the sci-fi and humor and being really touching and it just opened up whole new horizons and it showed people that you can make a movie about a talking raccoon and a tree and have the tree only have one line and have green people and a bald girl and it will work and people will love it. And I was so excited about that because I love anything that kind of pushes the envelope and means that we're going to get even more exciting things in the future. Question seven, Marvel or DC? Well, if you do not know the answer to this, then you either don't know comic books at all or you have not been paying attention. Absolutely Marvel. Marvel, 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 Marvel. They have always been my favorite. I have always loved them. I, I am so blown away with what they're doing with the movies right now. And they just have most of my favorite characters and teams and that childhood nostalgia element as well. I will say this for DC, the more that they're doing with the TV, the DC TV universe right now, is actually getting me really, really into those characters. I recently picked up a bunch of the Green Arrow comic books because I, I'm now really kind of invested in this character, or at least that version of the character. I'm really excited to see more than Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman because I, I just don't really like them. Question 8. 
favorite graphic novel? I do want to point out for this question what the difference is, because a lot of people, I think, are a little confused. It's worth, it's worth explaining. Uh, the, the definition that I've always used, and I may be, there may be permutations I'm not aware of, I may be incorrect in this, it may not be the way you use it, but this is how I'm defining it, is that a comic book is serialized, and a graphic novel is essentially like a one-shot. So for my favorite graphic novel, I'm actually going to go for Mouse by Art Spiegelman. For me, it was one of the first books that I could talk about with the kind of person who kind of maybe looks down on comic books and thinks that they're not serious or they're for kids and still have it taken very seriously. It is centered around the, the Holocaust. It's very dark. It's very painful. It's very real. And he's chosen to tell it with mice. And it's an incredibly powerful book, and it's taken very seriously. I've actually seen art exhibitions recently based on the artwork of Mouse, and it has a great air of, like, it's, it's a phenomenal book in and of itself. It also gets, like, extra points for me for giving graphic novels and comic books a little extra boost of legitimacy, and I love that. Question nine. Avengers, X-Men, or Justice League? Again, I, we're, it's going to be pretty obvious here. It's X-Men. I They were the first team that I really got into. I loved the animated series. I don't even know why I say that in past tense. I still love the animated series. I still watch it when I'm hungover on Sunday mornings. Not every Sunday, it's good Lord. And obviously it has my favorite characters and some of my favorite team-ups and some of my favorite alternate universes as well. My favorite number one sort of alternate timeline, storyline is Age of Apocalypse. And I just think the X-Men are awesome. I will also say, just for fun, that if we go for just the movie adaptations of those guys, I would totally be Avengers. I'll have to wait and see on the Justice League. But... Yeah, you know what? If, if if the movie Thor wanted to come down and save me, I'd be I'd be down for that. I'd be good. If Jason Momoa wanted to rise out of the ocean and and take care of me, I you know, I'd be good. Question ten. Last but not least, why do you love comics? And this is a huge question. This could be a half hour video all on its own because I can talk about comics over and over again and I do it's kind of my day job so I will try to keep this as short as possible to avoid boring you guys to death good job on getting all the way to question 10 by the way thank you so much thank you for watching <laughs> I have to say that the main reason that I love comic books is the same reason that I love reading any other kind of books. I love the stories. I love escapism. I love descending into a world, another world, and other characters, and figuring out things from another person's perspective. And I do have to say I really enjoy some of the moral perspectives of the superhero comics. I really enjoy the, the good versus evil and the simplicity of it and sometimes that's really refreshing when you're dealing with the real world every day to come down into something that is like here is a villain and here is a hero and they will fight and the hero will win yay it's nice it's really really nice sometimes another thing that i think makes comic books stand apart from any other kind is obviously the artwork that's kind of a given but is the fact that these are really the literal never-ending stories. With books, if you, if you really love a book, a story, even if you have a really huge series, a huge series in, in book world is like 20 books, would be an enormous series. Whereas in comic books, 20 comics is like, oh my god, brand new, teeny tiny. Some of these characters have been around for 50 or 60 or 70 years or even longer. Batman, I think, is around about the 75 anniversary mark. Like, that's enormous. Having the ability to connect with a character and fall in love with a character or a world and just have that story keep going for infinity is amazing. It's so cool. And it's cool as well that especially now with the sort of the cinematic renaissance and, and everything in the way that comic books are so popular these days, 
is that if you have a character that you're kind of like, oh, I kind of like them, but I wish they'd gone a different way, or I wish they'd ended up with this person instead, chances are there's an alternate universe or another timeline or something where you can see that. If you don't like the one in this comic book universe, great. Well, the one in the movies is different. The one in the TV shows is a different take. This guy looks a little bit different. Like, it's infinite. It's like choose your own adventure for comic books ongoing permanently. It's so cool. And it's something that I think should be appreciated rather than feared, is the sheer volume and depth and breadth of these universes and these stories. That's it. That is my comic book tag. Please, 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 if you're into comic books at all, make your own video. Post the link below. Go ahead and say, I tagged you. And I cannot wait to hear about all of your favorite comic books and characters and why you love being a geek as well. Have a great night. Bye.